um, new called Jamboard. It's an online whiteboard. It's collaborative. You can share it with students, staff members. And I'm going to go there. To go there, you go to jamboard.google.com, but it's also integrated with um, Google Drive, which is great. So it means everything you save there um, is accessible and sortable and all that kind of stuff. So it's got a bunch of tools. We got a pen. If I push and hold, I can change the color of the pen. I can change the, like, to a highlighter. If I want, I can erase stuff. I can click stuff and move it. Maybe not pen marks, though. So, nope. I can add sticky notes. I can change the color. And I can move it around. I can make it bigger. I can rotate it. I can delete it if I want or duplicate it. Let's make a green one. So you could do some brainstorming, design thinking with this if you wanted. Uh, you can add images. So let's find an image. You can do a Google search. It's in integrated in there. And boom, we got a doggy. I can move my dog around. Um, I can share it with someone else. Uh, staff or student. Or I can change the access and say anyone at Elmwood with a link. Okay, and I can share this while I'm in a Google Meet. So if I go to Google Meet, I can create a new Google Meet or schedule one if I want to. I can add the people to the Meet, but here I am. So I can present my screen. I'm going to present a Chrome tab, but you could present anything you want. And so here I am, I'm presenting that on my Google Meet and I'm drawing. If I'd shared this with my students, they could be adding things as well. I can create a new slide over here and then I can jump back to my Google Meet where I can see everyone and I'm going to stop presenting. Uh, but that's how you do it. That's how you can create a Jamboard, share a Jamboard. And it's basically like, like adding a whiteboard, a shareable whiteboard that you can share with everyone in your class over a Google Meet. So there is also an iPad app. If you're lucky enough to have an iPad, you can download the Jamboard app on your iPad and then it's a little more natural to write with. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, check it out. It might solve some of the problems that I am getting from people about using whiteboards over Google Meet.